All right there, guys. Thanks for tuning in again. This is Redtail Ray coming at you. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and following me as I uh, go through life and, and learn more and more, especially with these uh, gear reviews and cool stuff that I'm learning. Um, this video is specifically going to be about duty boots. Um, as a new firefighter, uh, I just got sized up for my Class A's, or my uh, my blues, dress blues if you will, um, for, for ceremonies and for you know funerals, etc., whatever, um, our pancake breakfast, our turkey bingo, you know, all that kind of fun stuff where we get to dress up a little bit and uh, and look nice. I did have to go ahead and look for a new set of duty boots. Now, I've always been a big fan of duty boots. I've uh, been in firefighter training um, three years ago. I really had to, to buckle down and get a, a nicer set, and I'll talk about uh, these ones. But even before that, even before I was a, a firefighter, a firefighter in training in school, I um, always just found that they're a really nice option for all the kinds of stuff I like to do um, outside, everyday use, for the most part, weatherproof, waterproof, um, just because, you know, people need duty boots out there. I thought I'd do a, a duty boot review, especially being so close to Christmas. Um, coming up, you're going to be maybe coming across, coming across uh, maybe some gift cards, maybe um, this would be a gift idea for, for somebody on your Christmas list. Now, um, whatever the case might be, a good set of boots is extremely valuable. You're in your boots all day long, at least, you know, I am. I don't switch footwear once I select a pair of shoes or boots for the day. I'm usually in that pair of boots for 10, 12, 16, sometimes even 18 hours, um, depending on what I'm doing that day, whether it be, you know, work or working in the shop, working in the garage, working on cars at the fire department. Last night we did training and we were in full duty gear, you know, and turnouts and stuff, and that was a little bit different. But after, when we were wiping the trucks down and and cleaning up and all that, and for the after action report, when we did uh, um, pumper to pumper and uh, drop tank training, um, it's always good to have a nice set of boots. So first on the list, I'm gonna try to keep this video short. I have had in my life two pairs two different pairs of these Rocky Alpha Force boots. And they're, uh, they're actually very nice boots. Um, you can tell the grip on the bottom of these has held up really, really well. This pair of boots is probably about five or six years old, easily. The other ones I did end up having to throw away because they just fell apart so much. But the one thing I don't like about um, the Rocky Alpha Force boots, and they are very popular right now. Um, they're coming back in popularity, and I, I'm not quite sure why they raised the price. Five, six years ago, I was able to go to a place called Kaplan Brothers, which is now closed, and get these boots for less than $70. Now, if you go to Gander Mountain or Cabela's or um, even Kohl's, I guess, has them, or shopping on Amazon, they're right around the $100 range. So that's why I think they're really popular, because they're in that, that very inexpensive category, and they're a good boot. But what I don't like about these boots is, if you can kind of tell, I've even tried to re-blue these a few times, is that the leather that they use is pretty... Uh, well, I mean, it, it holds up pretty well, but it, it eventually, especially after some hard use and daily use over a couple of years, it just starts falling apart on the outside. And I think that's going to be true with pretty much any black duty boot you're going to wear. But um, again, you know, the bottoms have held up so well. I mean, even back here where it's really worn down, the rest of the boot is actually pretty um, secure. So I cut these boots as a backup backup set of boots um, for the station if I ever get you know completely contaminated um, I gotta change of clothes and a, a different set of boots that I can at least throw on to get me home or through the rest of the day so those are the Rocky Alpha Force 6 inch um, and none of these boots are side zip I've never found uh, side zip to be comfortable against my ankles um, I've always worn them either loose or you know slip in style where I can just jump into them quick and head out the door second set of boots is the ones I invested in when I was in fire fighter two training or fire one and fire two training a few years ago and a lot of my emergency management training so I really wanted a good comfortable set of boots and I've heard a lot of good things about a lot of different companies but I decided to go with the Danner six inch kinetic and uh, these are extremely comfortable boots very nice to wear all day long uh, many years again probably three years into these boots too and you can still start to tell that they're just starting to kind of wear out a little bit um, these have been my, my winter boots as well for the last two years. I'm um, just wearing them every day in the winter. 
You can see how well these are worn down, um, even you know through the couple layers. There's some rocks in there. Um, there's one thing I didn't really like, uh, even though these claim to be slip resistant, the the grip pattern, the tread pattern on the bottom, is not that aggressive. So even when they're brand new, they're pretty much like a streetwear or a, like an indoor wear style tread pattern, um, which is nice and is you know comfortable again for you know that's the way they designed this specific boot and they've got many different Danners got many different kinds of tread pattern for different kinds of boots out there. Um, but for me and my purposes, especially in, in slippery, snowy winters up here in Minnesota, um, these didn't hold up as well as I wanted them to, and they didn't have the aggressive, as an aggressive tread pattern as I would have liked, um, especially, you know, for an outside, inside-outside kind of duty boot. These still hold up really well, and I'm still going to hang on to these two. These are going to be another, probably, truck pair of boots, um, just to keep around. Um, again, extremely comfortable, held up really well, no issues whatsoever with uh, you know the delaminating other than uh, wearing through the the treads on the bottom and that's on both sides um, really wore through on the side really bad and that's again two three years worth of use and daily use um, after the Rockies but um, good boots nonetheless really good boots so what I ended up finding the other day and I was actually shit, never went out Black Friday shopping before but I took my uh, my little girl out SBR sweet baby Ray out to uh, do some Black Friday shopping because I just had to hap happen to have that day off and uh, It was also payday And I came across the uh, Nokomis shoe store, which is a, a local company here in Minnesota And they had uh, back in their bargain cave some of these Timberland Pro McLill uh, How do I pronounce that? McLellan? 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 Timberland Pro McLellan six inch basic duty boots and I've already been wearing these a couple of days, but you can see how nice and aggressive that tread pattern is. Really nicely done. I like the way they feel. They're extremely comfortable. I think they're going to hold up, um, hopefully, even better than the Danners and way better than the Rockies. Um, these I found, back, again, back in their bargain cave for roughly $59, which is super cheap. Um, their other Timberland Pro duty boot uh, doesn't have this aggressive tread pattern on the bottom. And this is a... Um, uh, a Vibram sole, if I remember right. Um, full leather, uh, full shank construction support, polycarbonate hardware, um, lightweight. I think they only weigh 28 ounces, which is nice. Um, they got a nice, nice curve to the bottom, you know, for walking downhill and for you know your regular everyday use. They don't wear out that corner. That's exactly where we're on those corners of the Danner boots. And uh, just a really nice aggressive tread pattern. I really think these are going to be um, just just right for what I want them to be. And uh, so these are my new set of boots. And kind of a quick review of uh, two different kinds of duty boots that are still both out there, still both available, very popular, hold up very well. Um, if I were to give a star rating or a rating out of 10, I'd give the Rockies probably a 6 out of 10, the Danners an 8 out of 10. And uh, I don't even know what to really give these guys yet. Um, but for now, you know, initial impressions, just wearing them for the last couple days, um, definitely, you know, an, an 8 out of 10 to start with in the first week that I've worn them pretty much every day. So we'll see how they hold up. Probably do another uh, another infamous Red Tail Ray uh, one year later review on these boots. But I hope that gives you guys some ideas on, uh, on at least my take, my opinions on 6-inch duty boots. Um, for everyday wear and for for anything else you might wear boots for. Well, thanks for tuning in again. This is Red Tail Ray. We'll see you guys in the next video.